it's been all quiet from my end for a few weeks now, largely because not a huge amount has changed. Things are changing, but only very, very slowly. It's a slow and steady march towards normal summer conditions. It's pretty crazy now that it's mid-July and I'm still saying that we're only really approaching normal summer conditions. Obviously, it's great news for the state of the glaciers and the high mountains, but yeah. By this time, in the last few years, already we've had at least one heat wave and the high mountains have been falling down and the alpine summer has been largely over. Whereas it's only just really getting started this year, which is pretty cool and also pretty crazy. So Facebook recently reminded me that it was only just over a year ago where I was climbing the Kufna Aret and we were faced with this crazy Bergstrand. We must have been the last team to actually get up it last year because it took every ounce of skill and determination I had just to get over the Bergstrand. As for the rest of the route, well, there's still a long, long way to go. So yeah, what difference the year makes. The Kufna's in pretty good condition right now, more on that in a bit. People are actually still skiing, myself included. Just over a week ago, I skied up and down Mont Blanc de Tackle in pretty nice conditions. And plenty of people are still skiing Mont Blanc via the Trois Monts on the Grand Moulet route. Becoming less and less, more and more people are doing it on foot now, but it is still possible to ski both routes. So yeah, mid-July and people are still on skis. But the technical rock routes are drying out rapidly now that we've had some proper summer heat. So more and more of the rock routes up on the south face of the Guy de Midi, east face of Pointe Nationale, around the Grand Capuchin area, etc. Uh, are seeing a sense now. And with the still great snow cover on the glaciers, it actually means getting onto the routes is much easier than you'd usually expect for this time of year. So conditions are actually pretty good for doing technical rock routes right now as well. But there is still lots and lots of snow around mid-mountain up here in the Aiguille Rouge and over at Plan de Aiguille. If you are climbing to do, planning to do pure rock routes, you're still going to need snow gear to access them and or get off them. Whether that's micro spikes, trekking poles or proper axe and crampons is up to you and will largely depend on the conditions that day, whether the snow is refrozen, etc. But yeah, you're going to need to be prepared to cross snow and have the technique and the skills to do it. As for hiking, the Grand Balkan routes themselves now are completely snow free, but you haven't got to go too much higher, too far above them to encounter patches of snow. So if you are going trekking in the Igui Rouge, for example, or indeed the Tour de Fizz or whatever, again, expect to encounter snow, so be prepared for it and have the right equipment. Tour de Mont Blanc, again, it's prime season now for it, it's getting done. All the high coals are still snow covered, so you need the right equipment. And some of the variations are still not getting done yet because there's too much snow. If mountain lakes are your thing, Lac Bleu, above the Plan de Ligui, it's pretty much snow and ice free now. Well, there was still a few floating icebergs last time I saw it, but with all this fresh snow out this year, it's pretty much filled back up again and it's looking blue. Because by the end of last summer, it was actually dried up. It's not looked like black blur at all. As for Lac Blanc, over on this side, that's still got a hell of a lot of snow and ice around it. I should be checking it out on my way down later, but yeah, last I saw, it was mostly still covered up. You could barely see any of the water, so yeah. Still a lot of snow to melt yet. For the higher lakes, over the back side of the Aiguille Rouge, well, you basically just can't get to them right now. Still too much snow. That de Bravant, possibly. But yeah, that Cornu and etc. Yeah, a long way until we're able to access them yet. I'm just heading out for a quick solo of the Crosses Traverse right now, which is one of the classic easy alpine routes on the Aiguille Rouge side accessed above the index chairlift and the floor drag draglift but as you can probably tell the approach is still very much under snow you're going to need big boots to get here basically i've not bought the crampons today but i have got the ski axe which i'm probably going to need as you can probably tell by the footprints lots of people are still using crampons it's definitely wise if you're coming here first thing in the morning I'm mid-afternoon now, so the snow's nice and soft. So, for a little roundup of all the sectors, starting with the tour, the approach to the Albert Premier Hut now is pretty straightforward. Just a tiny bit of snow to cross right at the end. As you can see, the glacier is still very snow covered. The conditions and all the classic easy alpine routes are pretty good, as long as there's a suitable overnight refreeze. That'll be the theme for pretty much everywhere at the moment. But yeah, 
as long as it's clear and low, low winds overnight and the snow will set hard then you're good to go. So the likes of Guitator, Petit Fourche, Tete Blanche, even the Chardonnay, all getting done very very often. Moving into the Argentier Basin, again the easy mixed routes on the Guide Argentier, all in pretty good condition as long as they're suitably frozen. Some of the rock routes above the hut are now snow free and perfectly climbable as well. The approach to the hut is still a little bit tricky up, the, up, on, the, up on the glacier. You need to rope up on it, it's still, still snow covered a lot of it, so yeah, it's still, still a technical approach, but plenty of people going up there now that it's open. The Sharpoa hut below the Drew is accessible, but there's still too much snow on the Drew for the likes of the Drew Traverse at the moment, although it is melting rapidly, so before too long it should be climbable. The rock roots above the hut on the on the side of the Aguida Moine, a lot of them are getting done, so there's stuff to be done up there. The approach to the Cuvicle hut is now completely snow free. So the Aguida Moine on the south side, the Voinamau is seeing lots of action as well, as well as the, the ridges and Lanon, etc. Wimpakulwa is still complete and is still being climbed, as long as there's a suitable overnight free refreeze and you're quick and efficient and can get up it quick enough. The Le Show hut has reopened again after the rock fall of a couple of weeks ago. Nothing really much getting done on the Grand Jurasse, but the rock routes and the Petit Jurasse and some of the other mixed routes around that area are getting done as well. As of about a week ago, the ladders which approach the Enders and Reckon huts have been fully refurbished and repaired, so access to those huts now is going to be pretty damn safe. Still some snow on the wet slabs, so you need to be, need to be aware, but the ladders at least are all good. Most of the rock above the huts is now dry, and the Bergstrands are still passable as well, so Often it's quite hard to find the sweet spot around there for dry rock, snow free ledges, but passable Bergstrands. And right now we are in that sweet spot. Don't know how long it will last, but yeah, the likes of Heretta Ryan and um, Guida Republic are all very much climbable right now. As for over on the Italian side, as of last time, the Don de Gion and Heretta Rochefort are in excellent condition right now. They're very, very busy. Anytime there's a good weather window and clear skies, seeing lots and lots of teams. Especially the Don de Gion. Massive, massive queues at the bottom of the fixed ropes. It's still too early for the Jurassic Traverse, but won't be too much longer now, hopefully. Again, all the easy classics around the Torino hut, the Antrevs, Marbres, etc., all in perfectly good condition, they get done all the time. Touron is getting a bit more tricky. The Voino Mau is getting chossier and chossier, so that's seeing less ascents. I'm not sure about the North Face. It was still in good condition last I saw, but it just deteriorated quite rapidly, so yeah, that's a bit of an unknown for me right now. Kufnaret, I mentioned it at the start of this video, is still in great condition, loads of snow. Again, as long as you're up it early enough and there's a suitable overnight refreeze. So, there's no monster Bergstrands this year yet. Not much to report on the easy classics off of the Guy de Midi, but the mixed routes and the triangle to tackle are still looking pretty damn good. Far better than they've been for the last three or four years. So, many people will climb them when they're probably out of condition and add several grades to their given grade but right now you'll find them in pretty much the grade that they're supposed to be in so yeah want to go climb the mixed routes on the triangle to tackle i'd highly recommend it right now it's still a bit too early for the Ret de diable a few teams have climbed it with crampons on the whole way which obviously makes it quite a bit harder but yeah again hopefully it won't be too much longer now before that's ready and when it is ready you have to go on it pretty quick because like a lot of things it deteriorates rapidly and there's quite a fine window between the rock being dry and free of snow and the approach cool uh, still having good enough snow to be able to climb it so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that mont blanc itself it's getting done all the time from every direction all the classics the italian side chamonix side and the Bay side all getting done on foot and on skis as i mentioned earlier but yeah some crevasses are starting to open up one of my friends fell about three meters into a crevasse on mont blanc to tackle last week but yeah on the whole everything's still really well filled in it's pretty good, pretty easy going on all the trade routes. Still probably too early in the season for the likes of the Inamata Ridge and the more adventurous routes on the Italian side, but again, won't be too much longer now. And finally, something a bit further afield, the northwest face of the Gran Paradiso over in Italy is in pretty exceptional condition right now, or at least it was just over a week ago. Had a couple of different groups of friends doing it, and it's pretty much continuous neve the whole way. 55 degree neve slope, pretty much the dream. So often in recent years, it's just been black ice and it would have been much, much harder. But yeah, 
it is the given grade that it should be right now. It's just a steep snow slope. So yeah, if you fancy having, heading over to the Grand Paradiso, that's why worth checking out as well. This is insane. It's what, Lemp, 12th of July, Lap Blanc still completely frozen at this end. It's pretty exceptional.